Hello everyone. This is Shreya Sajwa and today I am going to explain some information regarding to the aircraft propellers. So let us get introduced to the aircraft propellers. In a simple definition, one can say aircraft propellers are just a simple machine which convert the engine power into the powerful required thrust. Air thrust is a very important thing for an aircraft to come in the working condition and that's why engine power is converted into the rotational energy and then this rotational energy is converted into the powerful required air thrust and that's why we can also say that aircraft propellers is one of the most important part for an aircraft history of propellers then basically the idea of aircraft propellers is drawn from the Archimedes screw. Archimedes screw was used in the earlier days to draw water from rivers and lakes. In the earlier days the propellers were made from wood and there were fixed pitch propellers and it is said that the first aircraft propellers was invented by the Wright brothers in 1903. But it is also true that an Indian scholar from Maharashtra whose name is Shukar Bapuji Tarpade invented the first aircraft with his own propellers in 1895 and took a successful fly test. And now in the modern era new aircraft propellers are used which are totally adjustable then let us know about the type of aircraft propellers there are basically three types of aircraft propellers which are the fixed pitch propellers ground adjustable propellers and the controllable pitch propellers the first and most important type of aircraft propellers is fixed pitch propellers. Fixed pitch propellers have a fixed blade angle. They were used in the earlier days. It is the first type which was invented. And they have the low efficiency. They are especially popular for their earlier two-bladed style of aircraft propellers. Then ground adjustable propellers. Ground adjustable propellers have the provision to change their blade angle but only on the one conditions that they are able to change their blade angle only on the ground. They have very less efficiency but if we compare to the fixed pitch propellers definitely they have higher efficiency as they have the provision to change their blade angle. Then the third type is controllable pitch propellers. Controllable pitch propellers is the most modern type of the aircraft propellers. It has an adjustable blade angle. It can be controlled by the pilot even when the aircraft is in the moving condition or in the working condition in the sky. Uh, controllable pitch propellers have very high efficiency. They are used in all the modern aircrafts. Its efficiency is approximately up to 80 percent and the provision of changing the blade angle in the controllable pitch propellers is due to the modern electronic systems which are used to change the angle then let us know about the construction of the aircraft propellers there are some parameters which should be taken under consideration to study the aircraft propellers in the deep First one is the chord line. Chord line is an imaginary line which passes through the leading edge to the trailing edge. Blade angle or pitch angle. It is the angle between the chord and the plane of rotation. Angle of attack is the angle between the chord and the relative wind direction. If you take a small sample of propellers in the hand, will come to know about the cross section as shown in the figure. So in the simple sentence we can define aerofoil 
is the cross section of the propellers. We can also call it as an aerofoil. So the reason behind designing an aerofoil is to bear the stresses and the forces which are acted by the air on the propeller and which makes the propellers strong. Geometric pitch. It is the distance which aircraft propellers should screw without a slippage. Actual pitch is the distance which aircraft propellers actually screws. And the slip distance is the difference between the geometric pitch and the actual pitch. And the most important thing between the geometric pitch and actual pitch is while calculating actual pitch, energy losses are calculated. While geometric pitch calculation, energy losses are not considered. In the another sense, the slip distance which is the difference between the geometric pitch and actual pitch have the proportional relationship with the losses and that's why we can calculate the energy losses with the help of slip distance. Working Aircraft propellers take rotational energy as an input and convert it into the output in the form of powerful required thrust which is used to overcome the atmospheric pressure acting on the aircraft. Aircraft propellers work on the principle of the right hand screw rule. As the propellers rotate, they screw a forward distance as shown in the figure. When the aircraft is at the ground level, atmospheric pressure acting on the aircraft is also higher. And that's why to produce the higher thrust, propeller requires the higher power. And this higher power is directly proportional to the RPM of the aircraft propellers. When the aircraft is at the cruising height or at a greater height, the atmospheric pressure acting on the aircraft is less. So the power required is also very less. Therefore, they have the lower RPM at the cruising height. Aircraft propellers have higher slippage at the ground level as the atmospheric pressure acting on the aircraft is very high and power consumption is also very high. Applying the same phenomenon, at the cruising height, aircraft propellers have the lower slippage. Efficiency of aircraft propellers varies from 50% to 80%. If we compare the types of aircraft propellers, fixed bridge propellers have the least efficiency, while that of controllable pitch propellers have the maximum efficiency. Variation of efficiency depends upon the aircraft's working condition. When the aircraft is at a ground level, higher atmospheric pressure is working on the aircraft and hence the power consumption is also very high. Due to high power consumption and high RPM, it has the maximum slippage and the least efficiency. But when the aircraft is at the cruising height, it has the maximum efficiency and, max and minimum slippage due to the lower RPM and lower power consumption. When the aircraft is in the working condition, different types of forces act on the propellers and these are divided into the two types. The first one is operational forces, second is the vibrational forces. So, which are the operational forces? So, operational forces are first one is centrifugal force, then thrust bending force, torque bending force, aerodynamic twisting moment, and centrifugal twisting moment. Vibrational forces and the critical ranges also act on the aircraft propellers in the working conditions. So let us know about the operational forces first. Centrifugal force. When the plates are acted upon the centrifugal force, the force acts along the radius opposite to the direction of the center of the rotation.
thrust bending force. This force tends to bend the aircraft propellers at their tips as shown in the figure. This force opposes the centrifugal force in some degree. Due to such bending of aircraft propellers, their tips can get damaged and that's why this force is tolerated by the thick aerofoil. The more thick the aerofoil is, the lower effect of the thrust bending force. Then, as told, an aerofoil design of larger cross section helps to overcome this force. Torque bending force. While working condition, this force is applied by air on the blades of aircraft propellers. This force tends to bend the propeller blades back in the direction opposite to the direction of rotation. In the another sense, direction of this force is opposite to the translational velocity of propellers at their tips. If we know about the effect of this force, rotational energy is taken by the propellers to rotate. But due to the opposition of this force, the loss of energy occurs and this affects the efficiency of the propeller. Aerodynamic twisting moment. As shown in the figure, this type of force tends to twist the propellers. This force tends to bend the propellers such that its blade angle increases. The thrust force applied by the air on the propellers is the basic reason behind this force. As shown in the figure, the center of rotation and the center of pressure get changed when this force is applied. And it lets the blade angle of the propeller increased. Centrifugal twisting moment. This twisting moment tends to decrease the blade angle of the propeller as shown in the figure. It is greater than the aerodynamic twisting moment due to its rotating speed. It is used in some of the propeller designs to increase blade while aircraft is in the sky. Then vibrational forces on the propeller. Due to all operational forces, vibrations are induced in the propellers. To overcome the vibrational forces, propellers are manufactured by the materials having the high strength. Generally, aircraft propellers are made by steel, aluminum. In the earlier days, aircraft propellers were made of the wood. As they were made of the wood, they had low strength and due to the low strength in the modern era wooden propellers are not used so hereby i conclude that after going through this presentation we all definitely come to know about the basic theory construction types working principle efficiency of aircraft propellers and also the forces acting on propellers and the ways by which these forces can be overcome. Research, development and revolution in aircraft propellers bring a bigger change in the aerial transport systems as well as the Indian Air Forces. Development in the aircraft propellers may get a huger development in the Indian defense also. I heartily thank all of you to attend online my presentation. The aim behind this presentation was to make awareness about the aircraft propellers and create an interest about study in the propellers and aerodynamics. Thank you so much.